Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a full backup of your website using cPanel. So we'll open up the web browser and we'll go to this website. So this is a website I built, it's for a French restaurant and I want to make a full backup of this particular website including all the images, any of the programming files, the database itself, just a total full backup. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So, to do this, we need to go to the domain name. So, this is the domain here at the top, and we'll type in cPanel after the domain. And it's going to redirect us to the cPanel login. So, you should have a username and a password for your cPanel account. So, once I log in, there's a couple of options here to do the backup, and I normally use this option here because it's a bit more. Uh, you've got more control over what you're backing up so when you cl click inside of here the first thing I will do is ask the server to do a full backup and while that's processing I can do the partial backups as well so I do both basically so I click download a full website backup and I'm going to tell it not to send me an email notification you can tell it to do that but normally I do this all in one job so I create generate backup and it says Full backup is in progress, per your request, no notification will be sent upon backup completion. So when I click back here, because it was quite a small site, the backup is already ready to download. It's this file here. So basically that's a full backup of the website. So if I click on this link, it's going to ask me to save the file, I'm going to click OK. And then I can get the download from here, the backup. There's a few more things also that I'll also do. So I'm going to click the go back button here, it's going to take me back to the original screen and I make a backup of the home directory as well. So I click home directory and I click OK and then if there's any databases I back them up separately as well. So you can see there's two databases here. So I'll click on this one and click OK and I'll click on this one as well and click OK. So now I have a full backup of the website. I have the full backup here and I have the partial backups as well almost like a, a backup of my backup you can think of it that way it's another way of getting to the data so the last thing I would normally do is on my computer I would create I've just got this directory explaining this tutorial but normally I would create a directory on my computer and this project is called And then I'll put the date in here is the 1st of the 10th, 2017. And normally I would put the word backup here. So I'll create a directory and I'll give it the domain name so I know what project it is. I'll, I'll put the word backup so I know what's inside of here. And I'll put the date here. And I may do many multiple backups over the year for certain projects. So let's open up this folder. And what we would do is take these files and drag and drop them into the folder. So here I have the two databases, I have the full backup and I have the partial backup as well. So really I'm good to go. The reason for doing this is A, you don't want to lose the data just by for whatever reason you always it's always good to make a backup of your data off the server also if you want to do migration between one hosting company and another hosting company then they're going to need these files normally all they will need to do a migration from a cPanel account on one server to another server is the full backup so as long as you have that you can send the hosting company that file via FTP or some other method uh, we transfer for example but probably FTP will be better um, and then they can do the full backup restoration so they can do that do that for you okay so that's how you create a full backup of a website using cPanel I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial